Hello class, today we'll begin our study of animal genetics. First, what is selection? Selection is mating animals to produce certain characteristics. These characteristics can include lower birth weights, heavier weaning weights, specific colors, whether animals are horned or polled, and what an animal's temperament might be. And what makes an animal what the way they are? Animals are the result of feed, health, and inheritance, or genetic material. Feed is the fastest to correct. Genetics takes the longest. What is genetics? All body cells contain blueprints with instructions as to how an animal will look or act or etc. One gene comes from each parent. They are common pairs. Genes are divided into sections, chromosomes, that carry genes. Sex chromosomes like your male XY and your female XX. What are dominant genes? Dominant genes are one gene that overshadows all the others. In Angus cattle, black is dominant, red is not. A big B and a little b. The big B represents black, with a little b represents red. Whenever a cattle's genetic makeup is big B and little b, the black will always overshadow the red, and that animal will be black. In Hereford, white face is dominant. Big W and a little w is still white faced. Hampshire hogs, the white belt is dominant. Horns are always dominant. So in polled and non-polled animals, a big P and a little p still represents a horned animal. What are recessive genes? The gene that is overshadowed by a dominant gene. Recessive genes can only express themselves if both genes are recessive. Example is polled versus horned, where a big P represents a horned animal and a little p represents a polled animal. So when the genetic makeup is a large P, uppercase P, and a lowercase P, that animal will be horned. Only when there are two recessive genes or two lowercase P's present will that animal actually be polled with no horns. Black wool versus white, with a uppercase W being black, lowercase W being white. When both genes are present, the black will overshadow the white. Only when there are two lowercase w's and both genes represent white will the white wool show through. All right, dwarfism versus actual animal size. Okay, double D, two lowercase d's. All right, and albino is also another recessive gene. Okay, the Punit square method. An uppercase P equals a horned animal. Lowercase P represents a polled animal. If a homozygous horned cow with two uppercase P's, that is homozygous when both traits are the same, is mated to a homozygous polled bull with two lowercase P, what percent of the calves will be horned or polled? To find this, we can use the Punit square. In the Punit square, across the top, you put one parent. In this case is the homozygous horned cow with two uppercase P's. Along the side of the Punit square you put the homozygous polled animal with two lowercase P's. And in each block of the square you just match up the genetic traits that's shown corresponding to it. This one will have uppercase P, lowercase P, and so forth. When a homozygous polled animal is mated with a homozygous horned animal, there will be 100% horned offspring. But each offspring will have, will be heterozygous where each the horned and the polled trait are present. If a homozygous horned cow, two uppercase P's, is mated with a heterozygous horned bull, what percent of the calves will be polled? This is a um, typo here in the slideshow. We're going to pretend that one of these P's down here, this one, is actually an uppercase P. In which case, this right here should be an uppercase P and this should be an uppercase P. 
in this mating there will be 50 percent homozygous horned animals that will always also produce horned animals and only 50 percent heterozygous horned animals still 100 percent of the offspring will contain horns what are some sex linked genes some recessive genes are attached to the x and y chromosomes in humans, color blindness and baldness are on the X chromosomes. In men, traits expressed any time present. In women, they must have two recessives to show the trait. Children get baldness from their mothers. In this Punit Square, what sex will the offspring be? We have the male offspring, the male parent, the XY, and the female parent, the XX. So when those two are made together, you have a 50% chance of having female offspring and a 50% chance of having male offspring. If your dad is bald, will you be bald? Here's your dad. It has the bald trait attached to the X gene. As we read earlier, the bald trait has to be attached to both genes in order for females to be bald. So this female offspring will not be bald, neither will this. And as these two offspring are male, but they do not have the bald gene present, they will not either. Okay. Baldness is carried by the mother. If your mother is carrying the baldness trait, this offspring right here, which is a female offspring, is only carrying one baldness trait, will not be bald. This female offspring will not be carrying a baldness trait at all, will not be. This male offspring with no baldness trait will not be. But 25% of the offspring and 50% of the male offspring will be bald when the mother carries the baldness gene. What if mom is bald? If mom is bald, when it is mated where the father does not carry the baldness gene, 50% of the offspring will be female, and none of the females will be bald, as they both will carry just one baldness gene. But 50% of the offspring will be male, and 100% of the male offspring will be bald. What is incomplete dominance? If both genes express themselves, in shorthorn cattle, red male mated to a white female equals a roan calf. When you have a red male, you have to have two uppercase R's. To have a white female, you would have to have two uppercase W's. When they are mated together, all of their offspring will be roan because both of these recessive genes will show themselves through. All right, shorthorn cattle, punit square. Uppercase R equals red. Uppercase white equals white. Upp uppercase W equals white. And uppercase R and W equals roan. If a red bull RR is mated to a white cow, WW. What color will the calves be? In this punit square example, you have the RR across the top, the WW across the bottom. 100% of these offspring will be RWs, which are roan calves. If a red bull RR is mated to a roan RW cow, what color will the calves be? In this punit square example, you have the RR across the top, the RW across the side you will have 50% red offspring and 50% roan offspring. What if both parents are roan? If both parents are roan, you have RW across the top, RW across the bottom. You'll have 25% red, 25% white, and 50% roan. Undesirable characteristics like dwarfism, monoorchid, or only one testicle descends, cryptoorchid, or no testicles descend, short ears and tails. What is a mutation? It is dramatically different from what is expected genetically. A horned calf from pole parents, loss of some or extra body parts, a lethal mutation causes death at birth. Sublethal mutation limits animals, animals' ability to grow to maturity. A beneficial mutation is a loss of a tail in lambs. 
What is an abnormality? Similar to a mutation, only it is caused by something in the environment, like Siamese twins. What is heritability? It is a chance that traits will be inherited. Low heritability is multiple births and fat covering. Medium heritability is birth weight, wean weight, milking, wool grade, carcass weight, and rate of gain. High heritability is loin eye area, fleece length, and quality. Currently, having used that wean 70 pound lambs, want to raise weaning weight to 110 pounds. You need to select a ram with a weaning weight of 110 pounds. The her heritability of weaning weight is 30%. What can you expect the new lamb crop to weigh at weaning? What is the difference in the current weaning weight and that of the new ram? It is 40 pounds difference, 70 minus 110. Heritability percent times the difference, that's 30 percent, times 40 equals 12 pounds. You can expect a gain in weaning weight of 12 pounds. So 70 plus 12 pounds equals 82 pounds. A random mating is where all males have an equal opportunity to mate with all females. An outcrossing mating is mating purebreds with unrelated purebreds. Inbreeding is mating related animals. Line breeding is mating parents mated to their offspring. Crossbreeding is mating animals of the same species but different breeds. What is hybrid vigor? Offspring will outperform either of the parents. Corn breed A is 100 bushels an acre. Corn breed B yields 100 bushels an acre as well. If you crossbreed, A and B yields corn that yields 200 bushels an acre. Vigor only is, ex is only expressed in crossbreeding. A donkey mated to a horse equals a mule. A mule is sterile. What are exotics? Exotics are animals not common to the United States. It's difficult to define that today. New breeds are exotics. Genetic terms. Genotype is the genetic makeup, hence the uppercase B and lowercase b. Phenotype, physical appearance, such as black. Heterosis, genes are different, dominant, and recessive, uppercase B, lowercase b. Homozygous, both genes are the same, two uppercase Bs or two lowercase Bs. And that concludes our lesson on animal genetics.